Field post game with Stevenson head coach Ed Hoddle. The Mustangs victorious 19 to nothing over Delaware Valley. Coach, I know you were saying during the week uh, online uh, with Joe, you know, how big of a win it was to beat Widener. How much bigger is this win or how much more does this win mean to you guys to beat them? Well, you know, I think it's a little bit special because we've never beaten them. Um, you know, it's been five long years. I mean, and, and they're traditionally a very, very good football team, and that was no different this week. But, you know, hats off to our guys. You know, defensively, we played lights out all day. Um, you know, offense got the hard yards when they when they needed to, and, and we didn't make any big errors in, in teams. And, you know, that's one of the things today that, that we were really concerned about with the win was, was potential errors in the kicking game, and we were clean all day, fortunately. Last year, you guys had a chance to run out the clock on them. It, you know, it didn't go your way. Uh, for the guys that played in that game last year, how happy were they to, you know, have the lead this time and, and do everything to secure the victory? Well, I think you know it, it goes back to looking at what we did last year and looking at what, what we could do to, you know, to help ourselves today. And that, that's the most important part is, is you know, what can we do to affect the outcome of the game? So, you know, again, and I, and I know I keep saying this, you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but it, it really is about what we're doing and how we take care of the football and how we perform on Saturdays. Coach, uh, one of the areas where you had maybe you know the biggest turnovers, linebackers. You had great linebackers the last couple of years. You pretty much have four new starters from a year ago playing right now. Uh, how impressive was their? performance. Um, obviously you have Mike uh, Datu leading the way with a lot of tackles. Isaiah Pitts shadowing Darden all over the place. He got that big tackle early in the game. Uh, you know the four or five guys that are rotating in there, they were just amazing today. Yeah, you know, that, excuse me. That you know that that goes to, to to their, you know, their tireless work ethic and and, and coaching and, and them taking the coaching and and again, you know, really being focused on what they need to do. Um, you know, this game plan was not an easy game plan from a, a defensive perspective. It was, um, you know, ha having a mobile quarterback is something that, that that can be problematic. And you know, Coach Johnson schemed it up. You know, Coach Nelson and, and these guys executed. Um, that was just an awesome thing to watch today. Was there a point in the game um, where you guys just knew that you know the defense was was playing out of their mind? I and mean, was there maybe a turning point where you knew, um, from a coaching perspective, you maybe didn't have to take as many risks offensively just because the defense had shown that that it was going to be hard to score on them? Yeah, I mean, you know, we talked about it at halftime. You know, we, we talked about surviving the third quarter because we you know we were going to kick into the wind, take the wind in the fourth quarter. So if we could come out of the third quarter, um, you know, and still have the lead, we you know we we were going to feel pretty good about it. And you know the remote remarkable thing about the game today was even when we had the wind in our face you know I think we dominated field position and again you know that's a huge statistic that 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 you know, really helped us, you know, secure the win. Was there any part of you that was fearful just as a head coach? You know, you've been on both sides of a lot of games, you know, it's 12 nothing, but it felt like it could have been more. Mm -hmm. You guys constantly had the ball starting in their territory. You mentioned field position. Was there any part of you that was like, man, you know, we should we should have been up three scores earlier? Yeah, you know, again, I, th I think it's, um, you know, that's one of those things, you know, you look at it and, and of course you worry about it, but, you know, defense playing the way it was, you know, nobody got upset. You know, we talked about all week, you you know, being calm in the moment and understanding that it isn't the last play, it's the next play. And our guys did a great job, you know, really fantastic job with that today. This is a team that scored 100 points total in their last two games. Would you have ever imagined, uh, you know, they weren't going to score today? Um, you know, I, I, I try not to, to, to speculate on scores and, you know, who's going to score what. Um, you know, again, I know the work that goes into the defensive game plan. I, I, I know the work that goes in, you know, in practice from the guys. So um, they don't surprise me. Um, you know, but again, it, it's one of those things that you, you, you try not to think that far ahead. One aspect of this shutout coming into the game today, you guys only had three sacks on the season. You had three more today and just constant pressure. How were you guys able to get to the quarterback better today than you have all season? Well, I think we you really challenged the defensive line, you know, this week in practice. Um, you know, looking at last week's film, I don't think we played particularly well in that group, um, and they knew it. And it's a mature group, and it's a prideful group, and they really took that challenge on head on, and and really did a nice job today. And, and again, you know, you go back to, you know, executing the game plan, and and they did a great job all day long with that. Coach, you guys are seven and zero now. You have uh, control of your own destiny to win the MAC. Uh, how do you guys approach that? We've got to go one and zero next week. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Congratulations, and we'll see you in two weeks. Could be a conference championship clincher, you know, if, if, if you go 1-0 next week. Got to go 1-0 next week. All right, thanks a lot, Coach Hoddle.